The Gateway Project is about our understanding and acceptance of automated vehicles in an urban environment. One of the elements of the Gateway Project is to explore how people with additional travel needs can be assisted by automated vehicle technology. Release brake pedal to go autonomous. What we're doing is using automated vehicle technology to make the private car more accessible, particularly for people with disabilities. So it enables them to have a seamless start and end to their journey by automating that last section of their trip where it's more difficult for them to leave the vehicle and undertake the parking. So this demonstration that we're looking at now is a demonstration of a disabled driver driving up to a hotel drop-off point disembarking the vehicle and then using the app to manoeuvre the vehicle slightly forward so that the driver who has pulled up behind the car doesn't block his access to the boot. So the driver is able to disembark the vehicle and then use the app to nudge the vehicle forward a few metres. The driver is then able to get what they need out of the boot and then once they finish with the car they can press the park button on the tablet and what that park button does is it sends a signal to the car to say take yourself to the car park. The car can drive completely autonomously to the car park and park itself. However, in those environments which might not yet have been mapped or are not set up that way, a remote operator can instead drive the car to the car park. So the service is still provided regardless of whether the area is set up. The system has um, its own obstacle uh, detection, so essentially it will control the speed based on how fast you're uh, going and what the nearest ob what obstacle is, so um, you can't crash it basically. The technology is very simple. It relies on having a forward-facing camera in the car and much of the technology that we use today is on our mobile phones. So all the processing power required, um, the sensor technology is actually present in the mobile phone that you own. Um, we're just simply saying that camera should be pointing forwards in the car and there needs to be a connection to the car's drive-by-wire system. The system that we're using in the car today is our Cellular One product. We're using it to connect the vehicle to sensors and cameras. And what we're making sure is that that's done in a secure manner, not just from a software standpoint, but from the hardware. And then that computer talks over the uh, um, cellular network, so the mobile phone network, to a remote operator who sees the picture from your camera and the signals from their set of controls are relayed back to the car. Most cars are drive-by-wire enabled now and will be very much so in the next five to ten years. So that technology is already there. Well, I think it could have extremely useful implications as a disabled driver, particularly when you're parking. There are numerous occasions when you can pull up somewhere and parking is difficult for a number of reasons. You can use your phone app, or in this case a tablet app, to manoeuvre the vehicle in and out of a parking space which maybe doesn't have room for you to get in and out with a, with a wheelchair. Negates having somebody necessarily in the car with you to get the wheelchair in and out so it makes you more independent uh, and more mobile basically. This isn't just a service that would be useful to people with disabilities, this is a service for anybody who wants you know, to get out of their car closer to a location for whatever reason. I think it's a really exciting uh, prospect in the future and hopefully it's sooner rather than later.